Hey, it's your, it's your girl, Cheetah Mama. So I wanted to get on here to kind of just be honest and real with my audience, you know, to let them know what was really, really going on. And to let you know that the enemy does steal, kill, and destroy. And so one thing that I can say is that, you know, I was in a situation where I felt vulnerable and I felt like I didn't know what to do with myself. And so I cleaved onto a relationship because I was lacking the love of God, the love with my, the love of myself. So I get into this relationship. It seems okay, but don't get me wrong. I was always feeling uneasy. I was always feeling like I didn't belong. I was always feeling out of place and I didn't know why. I was praying for God to restore this relationship. I was meditating on, you know, God's word and I was distancing myself from this person emotionally, physically, and mentally. And so what ended up happening you know, was, you know, one day I come to this person, I'm just kind of like, hey, what's going on in our future? Like, you can't be constantly leading me on. It's been three years. Um, what are we going to do in our future? And he's like, I don't know. Okay. He's like, I'm trying to get my future together. He's like, you know, um, I'm like, okay, what about from a year from now? You know, it's been three years, like in 365 days. Do you think that we could figure it out and come up with some type of game plan? No, I can't promise that. Okay, so um, I guess I'll make the decision for you because clearly you don't know how to make decisions. Um, I did let him know that your purpose isn't to be this single person. You know, you know that you crave family um, and things like that. And I told him, you know, God's mission for you is to be a husband, is to be a, a um, provider, is to be a father, you know. And in his mind, because of whatever he was going through with his mental disorders, a lot of mental disorders are demon possession, you guys. Pray for yourself, okay? Um, but anyhow, um, so long story short, you know, he, of course, threw the blame on me. I was wrong. I was wrong for asking these questions. I was wrong for pressuring him. I was wrong for, you know, bringing up any of my concerns. I was a bitch. I was stupid. I was all these things. So I realized that sometimes God is trying to remove people from your life. Sometimes we love them and care about them so much that we, you know, don't listen to what God's trying to say. In the midst of this relationship, I have experienced mental abuse and I have phys experienced physical, I mean, mental and emotional abuse um, and spiritual abuse, really. You know, I was having all these dreams, all these bad dreams about him, just things. I just was never at ease in this relationship. Not to mention his mother decided to fornicate with one of my ex-best friend's husbands, okay? So my whole thing is that this whole situation is actually truly toxic and I wasn't even, I was trying to ignore those facts because I truly wanted to be with this person and I wanted this person to be my husband for whatever reason. I feel like God, the devil put some type of veil on me, making me feel that this was my godly person. This person was on drugs. This person had mental disorders. This person's family's on drugs. This person saw no future in me. And yet for some reason, I thought it was a smart idea to stay. And it, ultimately, I do blame myself. You know, I'm not on here to bash anyone. I'm on here to let you know that sometimes God reveals things to us. And sometimes we are so blinded by love or blinded by, you know, what things could be that we settle and we deal with things that we don't necessarily have to deal with. Um, in the end, you guys pray and seek God. And I swear to God, the closer that you get to God, um, you're going to see a lot of these people disappear. You know, I've seen so many people and so many friends and so many just people that I really did feel like were of God um, disappear from my life during this time. This has been my biggest transition in my life. And the only thing that I can truly believe is that these people were just never meant to be there. And so God decided to go ahead and just remove them rather I wanted them there or not so I decided that I'm going to focus on loving myself and focus on my purpose and focus on what God has in store for me I am not going to you know subject myself to someone else's timeline I'm not going to subject myself to mental physical emotional abuse ever again you know and the thing is sometimes God will keep on having you repeat these situations over and over and over until you truly understand and I feel like at this point I can say that I truly understand I truly understand that 
Sometimes people aren't meant to be in your life. I truly understand that, you know, God's will is God's will. And sometimes the devil intervenes and make us feel that it's God's will when it was never God's will. So um, all I have to say, you guys, is let's pray. <clears throat> let's do better. Let's ask God to send our spouses to us so that we're not wasting time. And that's the thing that I had to realize is sometimes, you know, we we sit up here thinking that, oh, you know, um, <clears throat> oh gosh, I just had, had a brain fart. But basically, um, everything's not of God. You know, sometimes we can be blinded by the devil. And sometimes there are wolves in sheep's clothing. So have discernment. And I'm going to pray for you guys right now. Um, and just kind of put this, this word on your heart to just trust in God. Lord Jesus Christ, I lift you up today. And I ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, to open this veil that's put upon me to see the truth of what's really going on in my life lord jesus christ please direct me into what you have intended for my life not what i have intended for my life please allow me to see what's going on truly in people's hearts lord jesus christ and please remove those people who are no longer meant to be in my life lord jesus christ i i value a relationship with you i value to get close to you and i pray lord jesus christ that you just continue to help unveil what you truly have meant for me, the purpose that you truly have for me, Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to lift you up in prayer and pray that you continue to resolve this relationship with me and you. In Jesus' name, amen. And my daughter had a few words um, that she wanted to speak. Um, I just wanted to say, hold on, let me just arrange this. Okay. I just wanted to say and come, I just wanted to come on here and say, be you. Don't let anybody change you. Don't let people make you feel insecure about yourself. Um, even if it's emotionally, physically, don't just, don't let people do that to you. You know, be you, and like my mom was talking about her relationship. If you're in a relationship and you feel like, I don't want to stay with him, I don't really want to be with him, then I would go with your heart. Go with your true feeling, because what if you say that in the beginning of your relationship, and then seven years go by, no marriage, nothing. They weren't even thinking about marrying you, nothing. So I would go with your heart. I would go with your heart and just, you know, and you don't, no, just saying. You don't need a man. I mean, if, if a boy or a girl's watching this, you don't need a man, you don't need a woman. Okay? You, because you have you, yourself, and I. So you don't need um, a mate. You may want one, but you don't need one. I mean, I know it feels like, but, I mean, God made you to have a mate. Yes, he did. He made you to have a mate and have kids. Yes, but you don't need a mate. You know, I know it might be tough for you to just live by yourself alone. But trust me, you're not living alone. You have God. You have yourself. I mean, if you have animals, you have your animals. You have people, trust me. So, just know that you don't need, just know that you don't need, um, anyone. Really. You just need yourself and God. And that's really it. Pray but for God to reveal the... people in your life, you guys. Do it before it's too late. You wasted so much time for foolishness. Mm -hmm. Um, let God reveal everything to you. Yeah. We can't do it without God. So moral of the story is believe in God, trust in God, so God can show you the right path. So yeah. Um and my my video will be in the description down below.